Dancing Chef's table. Music. Chef's table. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. We're I eating. love that. Oh. <laughs> this Vivaldi song means only one thing in our world. We've got an incredible chef's table. Try not to eat. No, 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 no. I gotta eat the chef's table food. Try not to eat chef's table. It's already gonna Why? be a fail. Uh, it's already gonna be a fail. This episode will bring around incredible highs and very low lows. I will say the prize might actually be worth it this time. I've taken some audience suggestions. Oh. Ah. Oh. Yeah. This is like, I don't know. How do you not eat it? Is this your warm up? Loose, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta warm up before I eat. Gotta <laughs> relax the. Okay, yep, there we go. Very provocative. Massimo. Ooh. Massimo. Oh my god. I would do anything to eat at this restaurant, to go to Modena, and to just be in Italy again. Look at that. Look at that tortellini. Uh. <gasps> the six tortellini! Say, oh! I love how they edit everything in slow mo on the show. Just makes it just so more, so much more dramatic. It's walking down. It's so that way we can enjoy it. But at the same time, walking into broth, tortellini and brodo. Oh, it's so good. It's like art. It is. Wow. Oh my. <laughs> this is a road Whoa. to my belly. From the very beginning, we all couldn't help but fall in love with Chef Massimo Batura and his iconic dish, tortellini walking into broth. Are we done? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm at a fancy restaurant. No, I know. <laughs> I didn't dress appropriately. Oh. I want to take it's a stroll walking. with this guy. Oh, yeah. Is it really good? Oh, yeah. Brittany, you're in it, because I was going to tell you, if you mess with the dish, you have to eat it. <gasps> oh, oh, no. Look at the broth. It's jiggly. It's so Don't touch the food. If you play with the food, I'm going to take it away from you. Oh. <laughs> OK, I won't touch it. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Market. If you try it, and it's really that good that I have to try it, okay. I'll do it. Oh, that's really good. No, it's right. in a perfect Can I touch ride. this one again since I already touched it? No, or? stop touching the food, Jace. <laughs> I'm touching it. I'm, I'm gonna abstain from the dish. But you said that if I tried it! Oh, oh, okay. I'm gonna I abstain see. from the dish. Oh. I decide. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna be. We got this. Yeah. We got this. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna tell myself that I'm gonna wait for the prize. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know what's happening to Nick right now. No. He's having a full body experience. <sighs> Was this worth it? Yeah, it was really Yeah, good. it was worth it. This is the barbacoa one. Christina really believes yeah. that we're all that one really family. Oh my god, I want her. It's like home cooking. She yeah, wants look at this. One thing I absolutely love about Mexican food is they just always food. have salsas. She like, I hate dry food. I always talk about this, like I'm a condiment tacos. queen. Oh, and she would too. She would reach my heart. That is right, look at this. See, and then you got like the family art film, and it's like. I know, like food is such a connecting thing between families and communities, and the show just does such a good job. Uh, baba, oh, barbacoa, yum yum. This is evil. <laughs> James Beard Foundation Best Chef winner, Christina Martinez, is both an incredible chef and immigration activist who stirred conversations and created family around a good plate of food. We have some of her mouthwatering barbacoa tacos, one of the first dishes she made for other Mexican workers after she was fired from her restaurant when they discovered her undocumented status. Oh man, it's good. This is like, dude, this smells like Los Angeles streets late at night. That's the um, only reason I'm like, maybe I can control myself because there's so much good Mexican in LA. Maybe I could just. Good for you. Immediately go get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Don't you want to be part oh of that? Oh, my God. You're so you're making terrible. Us feel bad. You're, I'm like, oh, I feel like she's like so nice and you're using this and then you're, you're taking that angle and making us feel bad about it. No, I know. I feel like a really bad person uh, to not take a bite. I want to pick up the limes. I want to just watch it drench my tacos. I only have no. to beat him once to win the prize. No, you already lost the prize. Oh, okay, then f this. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh my gosh, so good. Bonjour mes amis. I have been feeling the itch to travel lately and France has been calling my name. But in the meantime, you know what can transport me there immediately? Sense. 
Today's episode sponsor is Scentbird, a fragrance subscription service that lets you try all sorts of amazing fragrances from indie brands to designers like Prada, Tom Ford, and Gucci for just $17 a month. You guys know the drill. Every month you get to pick a brand new scent and they send you these nifty 30-day supply vials that fit so nicely into custom cases. You pop them in, twist, and enjoy. This has been the most fun subscription service and I truly do love reading all of your suggestions, so keep them coming. Channeling that inner wanderlust spirit, Vanilla Nomad by Sana Jardin Paris is a seductive mix of Moroccan jasmine, fresh bergamot, earthy sandalwood, and sweet vanilla. It just makes me want to explore. And Parisian Embrace by Sentier lets me feel like I'm strolling through the weekend markets on the bank of the Seine with a fresh pastry filled with sweet peach, pear, brown sugar, and bitter almond. Finally, I actually wanted to revisit one of my favorites, Pomelo by Jay Loves, with its energizing blend of pomelo, patchouli, and vetiver whisks me straight to a beachy resort in the French Riviera. So if you're ready to join the fragrance revolution, scan the QR code or click on the link below and use our coupon code PeopleVSFood55 at Scentbird.com. Not only does doing this support our channel, but it also gets you 55% off, which means it's a little over $7 for your first month, and Scentbird is available in both the US and Canada. Also, be sure to tell me what some of your favorite fragrances are in the comments below. I cannot wait to try them out next month. All right, let's get back to the episode. Au revoir. <laughs> this is hard. You can have mine. Do you want those? Don't do this to me. Yeah, I'm okay, you can have- No, 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 no. You can no, have four no. tacos. I'm strong. I want to be a winner today. That's I'm a... so scared of the punishment. She, he's just staring at your taco. Yeah, you gotta finish that. <laughs> I tried the other one, you know? I, you know. Wow. It's so sad to think that because of your choice, neither of us will know how this tastes. <laughs> Would you like some, some it coffee? It smells <laughs> so good. I can't. Nicole, don't do this to me. Don't, you don't even deserve to look at the I people. Can't, you don't I even can't deserve watch. to look at the people appreciating her fine craft okay, fine, and I won't watch you eat it. Oh, it sounds good. Yeah, you know, it's okay, right? Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> I'll take that with me. You can uh, take my punishment bite for me? No! <laughs> no, no, no! What? That's not how it works. Oh, That's salmon's my favorite guessing. fish. Mmm. I love salmon. Just, quick, just a quick sear. I love that it's just cooked for 15 seconds on each side. That's so great. You know, I'm really picky about salmon. Mm -hmm. Really Same. picky. Finish with my cream oh, sauce. That looks so good. Yum yum. Ooh. On a warm plate. Called? If the plate's warm, I'm done. That looks, that looks amazing. So good. Yes. Wow, six to seven seconds. seconds. So much pressure on the waiter. Wow. Oh no. Oh no. Is this your weakness? No. Oh. <laughs> this dish, le scalopé de salmon à l'eau ciel, or salmon in sorrel sauce, is one of his family's classics that should be enjoyed immediately. That was it. Oh, no. Like you gotta just grab it by the horns, ride that bull immediately. <laughs> is this good? I'm super picky on salmon. Growing up in the pack northwest. I keep going like this because I'm like, I wanna try it so bad. <laughs> It's not fishy at all. It just comes apart. Oh my. That looks great. It makes the salmon kind of like melt in your mouth. I'm Why literally salivating never... right now. This is so hard. Like it just fell apart in my mouth. Chef Michel Troigros, along with his father Pierre and late uncle Jean, have maintained three Michelin stars since 1968. Wow. To this day? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Since 1968, it's it's cooked really well. It's delicate. It's warm. Mm -hmm. And I like when fish doesn't taste it's like fish. It's not overcooked. It's just I'm a diva. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen Gordon Ramsay in Hell's Kitchen? He just like smashes the fish when they cook it wrong, and it just goes everywhere. No. It's Anytime not. I see a fillet of fish, I it, on I just want. Mm. She said. Since it's, when? She said. Since when prize, do you care about prize? She said prizes. Whatever. This time. She's a trickster. Dang, you guys are so. The punishments are gonna be so bad. <laughs> oh my god! Or maybe it won't. <laughs> no, they're gonna be, because you don't understand. I've never had salmon that is that good. Nope, nope, Nicole, I can't. Nope, mm. don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. It's dessert, isn't it? I knew it. You, you, you hate me. Oh, I, I, oh my god, I've been to the store in New York. Is this milk? Oh my god, yes, 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 yes. Um, milk bar. Oh, she uh -huh. looks good. That's, that's fake. It's a wedding cake! I want that. I'm not even gonna watch. Look at that! Why are you doing this to me? This is so annoying. Oh my, oh my god. god. I've had cookies from here. Like someone brought them to a party and I was like, oh my god, these are so good. You're kidding. 
Dude, like, okay, okay, you don't understand. The only reason I go to like quinceañeras and weddings is for the cake. Founder and co-owner of Milk Bar by Momofuku, Christina Tosi has brought the joy and effervescence of fun into all of her baked goods, infusing childhood flavors like cereal milk, pretzels, and chips into cookies, soft serve, and her iconic naked birthday cake. Oh, it like smells so good. Ugh. It smells so freaking good. Nickel! I used to always put potato chips in my vanilla ice cream. Oh yeah. So good. With your hands, you have a fork. Yeah, I didn't, didn't, it didn't matter. <laughs> yeah? I've never been more mad at you. I want to try this so bad. How could you do this to me? Do you know how expensive this cake is? I know! I've never bought this cake. I Please. know, I can't do <laughs> no, it, I can't do no, it. I've never I can't asked, do it. No, I've never asked anything from you ever in my life. You earlier in this episode <laughs> asked this exact thing from me. This is, uh... <laughs> Mm. Ah! Man, you gotta try it. You gotta try it so that way you understand why I reacted that way. What? You look at the temperature. Yeah, no, yeah, like the temp, like it's cooked sprinkles? perfectly, perfectly. <laughs> yeah, I don't eat stuff like this. There's a fork. Leave me alone. <laughs> Let me do what I want to do. <laughs> look Ashley in the eyes and say you're not doing this. Ashley, I apologize to Christina that I'm not gonna be eating this cake. Mm. This is so good. Are you kidding me? I just got some of the cookie. It's like crumbled on the inside. I feel like I'm gonna wow. crash in 20 minutes after a sugar high. What is on the inside? You ate the whole thing and you didn't say once what was on the inside. Because you don't deserve to know. So fluffy. I just wanna, I wanna pick it up and I wanna shove it in my face. I want to We cry. have silverware. You ate that like a crazy person. I know. <sighs> you ate that like your life depended on it. Like it was your last meal. Ah, uh, I should have had the cake. <gasps> ramen. There's no way I can't not eat this. I just had something sweet and I was craving something salty. And you're insane. <laughs> you guys are like some dark psychology majors. I love some good ramen. I love ramen. Oh my gosh, I'm hungry. Why are you? I, oh, I'm. Oh. Oh, I want ramen so no. bad. I love ramen. Oh no, it's right underneath. It's I, the perfect amount of rock. Oh, you guys are so up. dirty. Well, then I'm gonna put my hands right behind my back. Becoming a ramen master in Tokyo is already a feat. To do it as a foreigner, an unheard of accomplishment. However, Ivan Orkin's ramen did just that, earning him the respect and accolades this dish deserves. Oh, it looks so good. I hate you, because you know what? Like, like, so I cool. feel like you're not even like purposely praising them to praise them. It's just to get me to eat it, you know? Like <laughs> I'm eating it. I'm in pain. Like. Actual physical pain. Right now. <laughs> I'm in physical pain. I dropped that one. Man, those noodles are nice. Ashley, what's one more bite of punishment? You're already no, this far in. You, you really are. You already ate everything. You ate every, no. <laughs> yeah. every single round. I like that you're trying to hesitate, but like. Yeah, you should house it. Oh wow. This is really good. I'm like I'm like medium on mushrooms. I'm like lukewarm. Either I like them or I'm like they're not. These are these, these are, are good. I'm so I have hungry. passed on a lot of good looking food. It smells so good because she had a look on her face. Nicole had a look. I should have had the cake. in her eye. She was like, "You want that prize?" This round lasted a lot longer than it needed to. It looks really good. Yeah, I should have eaten the little. I should have just, ate, I the I little, just uh, ate the whole. Oh, little tortellinis. I regret, regret. Oh my gosh, mistakes have been made. Wow, the silence I think speaks for itself. It must be that good. We super failed this episode. I am committing to the prize. Nicole, I don't think I've ever won an episode of this. We're here, we've made it. Ugh. Congratulations, Noah. Woo! Jace. Yay! Jace. And Jamie. Yeah. Jace. You were able to avoid our hardest gauntlet yet. No way, Jace didn't, didn't eat. Any of it? Please, God, please, please be worth it. And for that, we have quite the reward. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I hope it's nothing. Are we getting everything? Right. Do we just get to eat everything? Wait, do we just get to eat everything? I it. Yes! Oh my God. Wait, is it all, all the same dishes coming back what? out? <laughs> what? No, Wait. no, what? no, no. What? We already had that. Oh, that's surprise, no big deal. <laughs> We won. We, we get the cake. cake. We get the we cake. Get cake. And the ramen. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Nicole, <laughs> no, that's not fair. I've only done this once before because the audience has asked so nicely for your prize. You get to try all of the dishes punishment free. Uh, wow. Never in my life has a bet paid off like this ever. Son of a.
How dare you? Man, you know what? That's not fair. I'd like to call a mulligan. This, let's take a little walk down the broth. Little walk down the broth. Thank you, Massimo. Getting to try everything that you missed out on, I did not. I wanted to try this so bad. I was, I was seriously, I was like sad. I am flabbergasted. Okay, Nicole, I see your tricks. Can you chew any louder? Like, geez. To, to a victory, um, well deserved. Ooh, and I was crying about this. I was so sad. I wasn't gonna be able to try the taco. It really was worth it to be good today. Let's get a perfect bite. Yeah, this is a good bite. The mushrooms on this. Oh my god. This is the least fishy fish I've ever eaten. That's in my what life. I was saying. The textures in this cake. Mm. I didn't know I could say oh, that nice. about cake. I'm ready for my punishment. Let's I'll go. Take Fine. It. No, it was worth it. I'm actually it. mad no, at the other reactors. Fun. How could they? How? Wow. That's it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below <laughs> which dishes you wanted to try. Well, unfortunately, Ashley, Brittany, and Nick, you were all tempted, and for that, you must suffer the consequences. Guys, I feel sick. <clears throat> I don't think I can finish this video. That's weird. I always get so nervous. I feel a full body rash coming on. What makes you the worst cook? Tomorrow, cook with dog food. Dog food? What? what? Oh, that's no. <laughs> Isn't that pedigree? I know look that at, brand. Look at Bobby Flay, just like, what are we doing here? Is that real dog food? Nah. <laughs> nah. Is this really dog food? Chef Ann Burrell simply could not comprehend this dish from the worst cooks in America, a slop of a dish made with dog food. For That's real, they were really food. using dog food? This wasn't like a bit? No. Oh my god. Hey, Ashley, you think that pairs better with red or white? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we get condiments? Absolutely not. Ketchup. How was your dog food? Ugh, I just got the chills. This is gnarly. I'm really I thought, scared. Can we eat bugs or something? <laughs> yeah, give me the cockroaches. How are you feeling? Feeling real good about our choices today. To making good choices this year. Yes. I actually can't watch you eat that while I eat, so I'm gonna turn a little and enjoy my cake without being disturbed. Ah, uh, it. Oh my god. I shouldn't have cared about the sad stories. <laughs> Go on. Um, well, yeah, it's probably better just do that. Oh my god. Thank, Thank you, you, Chef Michael. Thank you, Chef Ash. Yo, I've, I've eaten a lot of foul stuff, but there's just something about the texture of this dish that is disgusting. I think she said it tastes like her dog's butt. <laughs> oh, breath. That makes more sense. Ah, done. Ate it. Five bites. Thank you guys so much for watching this trial. This Try Not To Eat Chef's Table what? episode full of amazing food. What? Let us know what you thought in the comments below. What? And uh, yeah, dog food? What? Mmm. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and again, a special thanks to our episode sponsor, Scentbird. Be sure to scan this QR code or click on the link below and use our coupon code PeopleVSFOOD55 to get 55% off your first month, which means it's a little over $7 for your first month. Happy shopping.